I remember in school when I did love and relationships, one of the top like factors of a strong, like good relationship was friendship. Welcome back. I am so excited to talk about today's topic. I am a huge romance person, love anything to do with marriage, dating, romance, romance, romance. And so we will be talking about unique date ideas for Valentine's Day. But first off, I just want to thank you for stopping by or if you are new, I just want to let you know that my name is Chelsea and this channel, Chelsea May Today, is all about helping women thrive in their calling simply by talking about daily wins and trials as a Christian wife. So if you're into marriage, faith, beauty, kind of life as a wife who for the most part stays at home, then subscribe because that's what this channel is all about. Now we're going to get right into it. I have five different date ideas specifically for this video. And the cool thing is you can kind of mix and match with these. You can put your own twist on it. You can combine some of them. It's totally up to you, but I just want to get those creative juices running, or if you don't have any, I want to give you those. <laughs> and hopefully you can come up with a really special night for you and your husband or you and your boyfriend, but those are two different levels. So <laughs> it's your boyfriend, keep it PG, P, G, whatever <laughs> rated. And it's for your husband. You can do whatever you want. Oh, and I wanted to add that most of these dates can be done from home. So in a time of Corona, you have to think about all these things and you can kind of switch it up if you'd rather go out. But for the most part, these all apply to safety, social distancing and kind of doing things from home. So going right into it, the first one that I want to talk about is camping out in your living room. Now, my husband and I did this for New Year's and I had so much fun. Like, if you would have first told me this, I would have probably been like, camp out in your living room, that's the best date idea you've got. But hold on, listen, this is what you do to make it more special. You can make dinner there. So literally, I'll, I'll post a picture somewhere up in this video where I'll blow it up. But I made dinner, and we literally ate that in the living room. We, or I say we, I kind of did it because I like doing those things. My husband helped a little. But we blew up the air mattress. We put our memory foam on top of it. We have a fireplace in our living room, so my husband made a fire. We set up everything right by the TV, and so literally it was just like a camp out. Another fun thing you can do is like try to make a really cute fort. I used to love forts as a kid, tried this as an adult, and failed miserably, so I'm gonna have to work on that before I become a parent or as I'm a parent. <laughs> Or maybe my kid can teach me some better fort skills because it was a total fail. But if you want to try to make a fort and just kind of like box off the whole area, string up some lights, like you can make it super romantic. And then when you have the evening together, it's just y'all. You can have your food there by you, your desserts, your drinks, and then you could either watch a movie. You could play some games. You could just talk. But the whole idea is that you're making something that is as normal as home, um, seem more special and new, even though you're not really going out anywhere. The second one is kind of a twist of the first date idea, but it's to camp out in your backyard. <laughs> Once again, you are the one in charge of making this as romantic or fancy looking as you want it to be. Or if you're not super fancy or you don't care about aesthetic, then you don't have to worry about that. But here are some things that's gonna make it more special. And so, you can camp out in your backyard if you're comfortable sleeping, but you can do a tent. If you don't want to sleep on the ground, blow up an air mattress, bring your memory foam out there. Um, but you can have a tent and things you can do while you're there is like stargaze. Like that's beautiful. Or you could set up a hammock between some trees. Y'all could lay in the hammock together and just look at the stars. Just talk at the night. It's just y'all too. You could also, if you have lights or outdoor lights, I love the big, I don't even know what they're called, but they're like outdoor lights. And if you could figure out a way to like hang those over the tent or hang it over the area you're going to be, whatever you could do to make it more special or make it seem more special for Valentine's Day, get your husband to help you throw those up or do that harder part. And then you could do the prettier setting up part, whatever it may be. Um, it can be a group thing. You can be putting the tent together <laughs> and all of that. But then you just get to spend that time. You can stargaze. You can talk. You could do board games, um, very similar to the last date. You could bring your computer out there and watch a movie out in the tent. It's kind of 
taking a step away from the house and you're just going outdoors and you're just spending that whole evening doing something together that you're not used to doing. And that's the key to some of these dates. In the grand scheme, they're not very hard to set up and they're just right at home. But when you are doing something new, it creates excitement and you'll realize it's a lot more fun when you do it. If in your head right now you're like, eh, I don't know, trust me, just try it out. When I did the date in the living room, I was not super sure how it'd go and then we did it and I just had so much fun and I was like, why have I not done more like this? Like more interesting, just fun things that are easy to do but just takes a little extra time. So trust me on that. Choose one of these dates. Choose something special that you don't normally do and just go for it and go all out as much as you want to. Also, I forgot to mention, but you can make s'mores in a fire pit outside too. So that could be a really fun thing that you do together as well. Third one is kind of the last one that's all centered around being around the house. The other ones you can really replace if you want to stay home or not. But this one is also really fun. Maybe a little less effort. Totally depends to you. But it's literally just cooking dinner together. But it's not going to be throw chicken in the oven, throw some veggies in the microwave. It's a lot more than that. One of the really cool things I saw on Amazon that you can get, it's like a heart waffle maker. And I just thought it'd be so cute. You could make, well, okay, in my head, this was at my wedding, but my head went straight to breakfast for dinner. It's something easy to make, so you don't have to get stressed about a fancy recipe. But if you're good at cooking, you can do that. But I was thinking breakfast for dinner, you can make the heart waffles, put whipped cream on it, put some sprinkles on it, cut up some fruit, put that on it. That just makes it look really pretty, more like Valentine's Day themed. Or you can also do like chocolate covered strawberries for dessert, super easy dessert you can make together. And then you could try some new like signature, new, whatever, you make it up, but like cocktails whether you want to put alcohol in it or not, it's totally up to you. You can learn different recipes or try different recipes. I saw a recipe, I think it was on Pinterest, and it was literally for a kid's party, but it had like <laughs> cotton candy in it and these other like drinks in it, and it looked so good. So that would be something that I would want to try. Go buy some cotton candy and make this really fun carbonated drink that I would never do, but I'm doing for Valentine's Day or I would do to make it more special. And so you could try out different drinks. And the whole idea here is just to get creative together, to have fun together, just to loosen up, not doing your normal daily routine, but knowing you're going to come together, you're going to make dinner and you're going to have fun with it. You can also be playing like romantic music in the background, or you could have some jazz, like just calm music, whatever you want. Like you can add to it to make it seem like a more special time. You could set up lights in the kitchen. You, you get the idea. You can do what you want to build on it or maybe make it less fancy. It's just whatever you want. I thought that would be a really special and fun thing to do, to cook together and to eat together and just to spend that night together doing something fun, especially if you normally don't do it. You could also add some candles too. Candles make it more romantic. And the fourth idea, date idea that I had that's unique is a Goodwill date. And so depending on whatever your budget is, it could be $20 per person, it could be $10 per person, it could be 50. It's totally up to you. The idea here is that you have a set budget amount for each person and you go to Goodwill and you have to pick out an outfit. Now, originally I would say you pick out an outfit for the other person because that makes it really fun and you just give each other sizes and then you have your 20 bucks and you have to go pick him an outfit and he has to go get you an outfit um, and you could even set boundaries like let's make it silly or actually try to pick something you would see that looks good on me that you think you would like on me or if you don't trust your husband <laughs> that much or you do want to try to look better for Valentine's Day, then it could just be a fun little thrifty and like, okay, let's go and let's go see the best outfit that we can find at Goodwill or whatever thrift store you'd want to do. So you go get outfits and this is where after you could go out to eat or if you want to social distance still, then you could just pick up some to go, bring it back home and spend the evening together there. Now, as an added little fun thing to this, I thought it'd be really cute if you have a Polaroid camera or you can just go get one of these at Walmart. I mean, I think they're like 50 bucks. Totally worth it. But take pictures during your whole date. 
And this is something you could add really to any of them, but you could take some in the store while you're eating, just ones together. And then at the bottom of the Polaroid, you could write Valentine's Day 2021. And I just think it's super cute for the Goodwill one because it's like older, you're probably gonna be wearing some more of like vintage looking clothes. And so then adding the vintage aspect of like old photos, I thought would be super, super cute. Moving on to the fifth and final one. I called this paint the town. So what you do here is you kind of have to do a little research before. Maybe you could just drive and figure out the day of. I probably figure it out before so you don't get stressed about finding the right spot. But you can go and drive to some place. It can be out in the field where there's gonna be stars. It'll still be light, do it while it's light. Or it could be if you're in the city, like a city line that's really pretty. It could be if you're at the beach, like go to the beach, wherever you wanna go. But you're gonna pick a location where you know you can sit there and stay there for like at least an hour. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your canvas, each a canvas, same size, and then some paints. And you're gonna go and y'all are each gonna paint the scenery that is in front of you. So if it's the ocean, if it's the town, if it's trees and grass, whatever it is, um, you're each gonna paint and then you can compare at the end how y'all's look. Now with this too, you can have music going, you can bring to go, you can make your own picnic, or you could do this first, um, then you could watch the sunset. But whatever you may wanna do, go paint, watch the sunset, eat your dinner, and then you could stargaze if you're outside. Now, I guess I am thinking of a car where you could look up, or like a truck. My husband has a truck, and so we've gotten pillows before and gone somewhere, put all the pillows in the back and like laid and stargazed. So when I picture this day, I do picture like tailgate of a truck but if you don't have a truck you can still make it work you could put a blanket on the ground and y'all could sit there and that's how you could spend the night and you don't have to be artistic to do this by the way I'm not super artistic I think I might be a little bit more than my husband the idea again is something fun and new that you get to do together and you'll get to laugh and look back on it and remember when you see those photos and so if you're not that great Maybe you want to get a smaller canvas. If you want to challenge yourself, you could do bigger ones, um, but both are fun. Lastly, to tie all of these dates into each other, or if you are going to choose one of them, I just wanted to talk about the importance of talking and just talking in your marriage or talking in your relationship. I remember in school when I did love and relationships, one of the top like factors of a strong, like good relationship was friendship. And friendship comes through talking with each other and continually being in pursuit of knowing the other person. And so on these dates, you don't want to just be doing things or just watching a movie. You want to be able to grow closer to each other and just talk about things. And so on my blog, which I'll link below, I've come up with just an easy free download that's going to have some like conversation starters y'all can have and some of them are pretty silly and easy and some of them are deeper because you want to get to know your spouse better and even if you think you know the answers I would encourage you to ask them again because we're constantly changing people and so what our dream was six months ago could be different today and so if you want that you can go to the blog at the free download and I also have a blog that just talks about these different date ideas and so if you're visual and you want to see it, you can go and see all those and then the items that you might need for each one or the different little ideas that I talked about. Anyways, that is it. If y'all do one of these, please let me know. Please like tag me in it or just tell me, Chelsea, thank you so much. I'm totally going to try this. I have lots of other date ideas I could just talk about for another video. And so if this one does good or people actually enjoy it, I would love to do more over this too. Anyways, that's it. I've come up with just an easy, free download that's going to have some like conversation starters y'all can have. And some of them are pretty silly and easy and some of them are deeper because you want to get to know your spouse better. And even if you think you know the answers, I would encourage you to ask them again because we're constantly changing people. And so what our dream was six months ago could be different today. And so if you want that, you can go to the blog, get the free download. And I also have a blog that just talks about these different date ideas. And so if you're visual and you want to see it, you can go and see all those. And then the items that you might need for each one or the different little ideas that I talked about.
anyways, that is it. If y'all do one of these, please let me know. Please like tag me in it or just tell me, Chelsea, thank you so much. I'm totally going to try this. I have lots of other date ideas I could just talk about for another video. And so if this one does good or people actually enjoy it, I would love to do more over this too. But anyways, that's it. Hope you'll have a beautiful Valentine's Day. Yeah, I don't know how to close videos. That's it. Bye guys.